Hi guys, welcome to this video. If you have been following my channel, then you will know that my terminal emulator of choice is Alacrity. And Alacrity has gone through some changes in the recent times. They have migrated their config file, which was previously written as an YAML file or a .yml file into a .toml file, a .toml file. And we can do that easily by using a command alacrity space migrate. But the issues don't end there. Some of the arguments that were previously useful in your alacrity config file will not be useful. Plus, we used to set the alacrity themes, especially if you are in an Arch Linux based Linux distribution. There was an application called alacrity themes, which was packaged in the AUR. You can use that application and change your themes easily but now that application does not work with alacrity so we have to find a different ways to set our alacrity theme so that is all the things that we are going to be discussing in this video so let's move over to my desktop and let's open up alacrity super enter will open alacrity and this is my alacrity and you can see an error here uh, yaml config is deprecated please migrate to tomal using alacrity migrate so if you simply type this alacrity migrate what it will do is it will copy all the contents of your alacrity.yml file into a alacrity.toml file it doesn't do anything much but let's do that alacrity oh my god i'm not able to type properly alacrity space migrate and enter so it has successfully imported the config file dracula.yaml i also add a dracula yaml file which was used to set the themes also we can use the alacrity that themes we don't want to discuss too much about that and also my alacrity that yaml file has been uh, imported to alacrity dot tomal file so let's uh, close this terminal and open it again and again we see an error unused config key author so this config font config key is not applicable anymore so which means there are some things that are present in my alacrity config file which are no longer necessary or which will no longer be used by alacrity so let's open my config file i am going to do it in emacs this is doom emacs and space ff to find file and i am in dot config slash alacrity and let's open alacrity dot tomal enter so where is this unused uh, variable yeah it's here author chris uh, kemson now where does this thing come from this comes from the alacrity dash theme so if i set a theme using the alacrity themes application it will the theme that is being uh, implemented it will uh, change all those things all these colors up to here up to this colors dot primary this will be changed by the theme that i am going to set so that will be set using alacrity dash themes if you want to know more about that you can watch that video also the it doesn't make sense to watch that video anymore because though that doesn't work so this is not going to work so what i can do is i can delete that line or i can simply place a hashtag before that so let's uh, escape and colon wq to write uh, and uh, the thing changes the error changes now there is another uh, unused config key that is the name again this was also set by the theme now if i change that now again another unused config key is there that is the theme that is present here let's get into insert mode place a hashtag escape to get out of insert mode colon w2 right and the theme now that is uh, that error has been uh, solved there is another unused config key that is window opacity so let's get into insert mode again get into insert mode and place a hashtag before window opacity get out of insert mode colon w2 right now all the errors have been solved there are no more errors so that's it now you can use this config file if you want to change any of the colors here then you can use all these things these all can be used but we cannot uh, use the alacrity themes anymore so the alacrity themes it's an application that is present in the aur if you are using any arch linux based distribution you can definitely use that and i have the arco linux repositories enabled by default so which means that arco linux they have already packaged the uh, alacrity themes which is in the aur in their repository so i can simply do sudo 
Pacman minus capital S. Alacrity themes. I've already installed that. It's already installed. It's up to date. So let's cancel that. Let me clear the screen. And after installing that, we simply do Alacrity dash themes and enter. And if I go through the different uh, themes, it will show me a live preview of how it will look after I apply that. But that is not working. And even if I enter, it will say that the theme has been applied, but there will be no changes that is because this doesn't work like this anymore but it does work but it takes some extra effort to make it to work so how can we do that let's move over to my web browser and we are in the github page of alacrity dash theme so here you can uh, scroll down and you can see all the alacrity themes are present here and each single one of these can be implemented can be uh, applied to your config file but how do we do that? That is the question. So let's find out how to do that. Let's go and read installations. First thing that you have to do is you have to git clone this GitHub repository to dot uh, config slash alacrity slash themes. So inside the alacrity inside the dot config, there will be a directory called alacrity where all your config files relating to alacrity will be kept. So first you have to make a directory inside that inside this directory inside the alacrity directory called as themes and then we have to import or git clone this particular repository to this directory that's what this does first line makes the directory and the second line git clones you can simply copy this go over to your terminal let me make this a little bit bigger Control shift v to paste that this hashtag can be here it doesn't uh, impact how this uh, command is going to be executed so let's press press enter and it is going to do it uh, really quickly because it's not going to do it uh, do anything it will be importing a lot of things but it is just going to be single toml file so now if i go to my file manager this is slash home slash jr slash dot config slash alacrity and inside that we have a new directory called themes that we just created if i go inside that there will be another directory called themes and you can see all the themes that are present there are 114 themes from which you can choose now how do we apply any one of these themes so one thing is we cannot have a live preview but we can have a preview in the website here so you can go and you can see how these uh, themes will look and you can select a theme of your choice now let's scroll down let's find something uh, really catchy maybe rainbow I don't know let's come down Ubuntu is here Zenburn solarized dark okay let's uh, set this rainbow theme now how do you set this rainbow theme the toml file is already downloaded so what we have to do is we have to import that in our alacrity config file here on top you have an import option previously I used to do that with the dracula file but uh, then uh, after that i use the alacrity dash themes actually this is not useful anymore when you set all these colors here then it will uh, give the first priority to set these colors it will not import this but i used to do it like that so this line was there it was a stupid decision it uh, doesn't do anything here so we have to import our config file so the name of our config file is rainbow so let's uh, change that first it's rainbow and then where was it present it was not present in dot config slash alacrity it was not in the main directory it was inside a subdirectory called themes and inside that there was another directory called themes inside which we have the config file rainbow dot toml if you have any doubt we can go and check it here rainbow dot toml yes rainbow dot toml is here so now whatever the color scheme is here will be applied will not be applied as of now so if i uh, colon uh, w to write this one and close this alacrity and open it the colors have not changed because we have all these colors here up to this primary here these will be given by the theme but we are we have uh, uh, we have defined all those colors in the main alacrity config file so it does not apply the uh, colors that are present in the rainbow.toml files now we can go ahead and delete these lines so up to colors primary 
these are up to colors primary the colors will be given will be taken from the rainbow.toml file so colon colon w2 right now you can see the colors just changed when i wrote that config file now the colors are not taken from this config file but they are taken from the rainbow.toml now what what would you do if you have to change uh, the theme you just have to change the name here instead of rainbow you give a different name if i want uh, let's say something that is eye catchy i cannot find something actually i think some of the themes are missing here which was previously available okay let's okay let's go with cyber underscore punk neon let's copy this go here uh, let's uh, delete the rainbow and let's paste this one oh my god let's undo that let's go over to the website copy this cyber underscore punk neon and let's paste it here okay now if i write this file i can see the themes just changed so what about the foreground colors let's do an update and let's see yeah the uh, foreground color is this one you can see this colors so you can change if you want to uh, uh, individually change the colors you can still do that you can uh, do that in the uh, Okay, sorry in the themes config file in cyber underscore punk underscore neon you can go to this file here under the themes and you can change that not only that uh, this themes they are need not necessarily be kept here because anyway we are going to tell the config file to import it from somewhere so it can be kept anywhere so if you are going to edit this config file my recommendation would be to simply copy this paste it here or here in the main config file like this and then you just point to that config file you remove these two things these themes and themes you can remove you can directly point the import to that config file and then edit that because whatever has been originally done let it be there because once you change the values then you may not remember the value to change it so why take the risk unnecessarily you can keep the original file copy the duplicate copy the file and then do the changes so that is what i would recommend so that's it for this video i hope this this was useful there are still so many things that you can change in alacrity you can set the window opacity now i am not interested in setting the window opacity because i if i want to set a window opacity i will do that using pycom you can also do that in this toml file if you want to know more about that please let me know in the comment section we can do another video on how to configure uh, alacrity we can go through all the different variables that uh, variables and arguments that alacrity allows us to configure so i hope this video was useful and i hope everybody understood what i explained in this video so if you like this video hit the like button if you think that somebody else will find this useful share this video and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have any queries if you want to say anything about this video or ask any doubts you can do that in the youtube comments or you can do that on mastodon or reddit all the links to those have been provided in the video's description also if you want to support me you can do that using patreon or you have my paypal if you want you can send that why any contribution that you make will go a really really long way to support this channel thank you for watching have a nice day